Gentlemen, welcome back to the Man Corps. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an excellent, delicious tasting, and really awesome green alkaline drink. And what a drink that I have every day, and one that uh, has really, you know, given me a lot of energy and has helped me, you know, maintain a lot of different health benefits that I'll cover today. So uh, if you are new here, the Man Corps is a community built for men that are digging to their core to find out what it is that they really want and who it is that they really want to become. We focus on three topics here. That is masculinity, health, and relationships. Please subscribe today. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. We would love to have you as a part of the community to help build better men for the future. So as I mentioned at the top, today's video is going to be around how to create a really a really heavy alkaline source I shouldn't even say heavy a, re a very good alkaline source for you to drink this is something that I drink every morning uh, I've just actually got back from the gym uh, you know I'm one of those guys that gets up at the crack ass of dawn crazy early when it's still dark out to go to the gym and after I'm on my way back you know I'll slug down a protein shake and this is actually what I'll have next before I jump in the shower and get ready for work. So, uh, you know, I've covered a topic or I've covered a video about the alkaline and acid diet and, you know, the benefits of, you know, eating more alkaline foods, which is really, you know, green leafy vegetables. Uh, the concept of that video was really around, you know, thinking about just like a general, uh, like a, a battery. We're all familiar with batteries. Uh, they're alkaline batteries, and when you buy them in the store, when they're full of power, they're they're full they're filled with alkalinity, right? So uh, when they actually lose power, and over time, what you see, uh, especially over an extended period of time, is that they they lose their alkalinity and they become more acidic to the point that they'll actually start secreting acid. That's where you see that they kind of like start to bubble up. That's when they get like really old. But that's exactly the you know, the principle and the concept behind why it's important for, and, and so good for your body, because a lot of, you know, a lot of our diet and a lot of things that we eat is, it are, are really acidic. Um, even myself, you know, I, I like things that are a little bit more on the acidic side. And, you know, if you don't balance out those things then they turn, then they turn over to an acidic ash within your body. And those things have a way of not only uh, attracting but creating an environment where microorganisms can grow and thrive and by by that I mean like cancer uh, you're more likely to get sick uh, your energy levels are low and there's just a whole lot of uh, you know really different benefits and this stuff is great for your skin um, you know I've noticed that you know my vision's better my sleep is better uh, my digestion is better uh, it just really cleans you out and you can really tell like almost instantly Right when it hits your stomach, it just you just feel like incredible. So uh, I'm gonna go through what I put in mine, and what I have here is a, a twin gear juicer. Now there's a lot of different juicers out there on the market. Um, I'll link this particular one in the notes below. This is a little bit more on the pricier side, but the difference really between the two is the 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 generic ones are the ones that are a little bit cheaper. Uh, they tend to um, you know, they both get rid of the like the pulp and 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 they both separate pulp from juice, which is what we're after. But the twin gear does it slower. So on those really high speed ones, where they just spin really fast, what that does is that creates a lot of foam. And I don't personally like drinking a lot of that. And what you do is you end up pushing the the fruits and vegetables through there too fast that you're actually, uh, the pulp actually retains a lot, even more nutrients and value uh, after you've already expelled it or after you've already ran it through the juicer. Where the twin gear goes slower. So that, you know, on those propelling ones, like, like I said, they go really fast and then they just kind of spray out the, you know, the juice and then the pulp stays. Uh, this one goes slower. So there's two gears inside of it that, that rotate right next to each other and you know, they, they basically absolutely pulverize the, the fruits and vegetables and then they expel the juice in the same way, but there's a lot less foam and you actually, you, you maximize not only the nutrient value, but the potential of the, of the juices that are, uh, that are in the fruits and vegetables. So, you know, as you can see here, a lot of them are, 
their green leafy vegetables. Uh, most of everything I have on here is green and most of it's all vegetables, though the finished product actually tastes a little bit more on the sweet uh, and, and lemony side because I don't know if you can see it here, but I have a, a full lemon. And that probably seems excessive, but because of all the vegetables in here, um, you can go different ways with it. You don't have to do a full lemon, um, but you know, I don't like just like, like all veggie tasting stuff. Like this is a, a, a good amount or nearly your entire day's worth of fruits and vegetables all in one like 16 ounce drink. Although this is filling up a, like a, a cutting board, what you'll see after I'm done is that it'll probably fill you know, up like a beer glass and um, you know, I'll just slug it right away. But um, so a couple, a couple things. And the nice thing is you can buy a lot of this stuff in bulk. I usually just buy it on like Sunday and like with the herbs or some of the spinach and stuff, I will actually keep it in a, in a container uh, filled with glass, covered up with uh, uh, like a Ziploc bag or some cellophane or something and just keep it in the fridge all week so it stays pretty much pressed. But you can buy it bulk uh, and then just, you know, make one each day like, like I'm doing. Um, but a couple things here. So I have celery uh, and you want to get rid of the leaves too, by the way. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but, you know, I, I suppose you can, but it was just recommended that you don't do leaves. Maybe they have some acidity in them. I have kale here. Um, I have parsley. So this is just, you know, regular parsley here. I have a carrot. Uh, a green apple. You can usually do most apples, but of course, you know, green uh, is really the, the recommended one. Make sure you take off the sticker there. Uh, the other part is, you know, there's, I didn't mention this before, but, you know, I have a cucumber. See, both of these two things, the, the insides of them, you know, there's value there. there there's, there's a good amount of nutrient value in both of these. Um, but especially with the cucumber, it's the skin, the green skin that actually contains a lot of the, the, the really valuable and good stuff. So uh, we want to include, you know, both the skin and the, and the meat, if you will. Um, but the reason I go with the green apples, because of course it's, it's green. Uh, I have loose spinach here. Um, you can do a green pepper, of course, get rid of the, the seeds and, and any of the stems if you want. Um, you can do, you know, a lot of different greens. There's collard greens, there's mustard greens. Those tend to be a little bit more on the bitter side. I, you know, this is just typically what I go with because it's not so pungent and it's actually, uh, a, it's a really good tasting um, drink to me. So, uh, but you can go any way with it. You know, there's a number of different uh, recipes on here. You'll notice that I don't have any dairy. I don't have any other sugars. I don't have any additives. I mean, this is all fruits and vegetables here and it's my daily amount. So. I'm getting everything I need here, and it's it's really quick way to be able to take care of that uh, part of the day or part of your of your diet right away within one drink. So the last thing I have here is uh, is a huge knuckle of of ginger root. So um, I had to get used to this because it is kind of pungent, but I'm actually growing to really like it. So you know you can just cut off like a little knuckle, I suppose. I don't know, probably about I usually do about you know about that size inch, somewhere like that. Um, but you'll really be able to tell a difference there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to grind all this stuff up and you'll see at the end here that, you know, I don't, I don't really have a, a ton of, uh, I have a lot of pulp and, you know, I suppose you could use that stuff for, you know, composting. I'm sure a lot of people do that. Um, I personally don't have a garden, uh, but you know, you could use it for a lot of uh, different planting sources. I just don't. Uh, I've noticed too that if you keep it in your garbage for more than a day, the pulp, it gets a little, it gets a little awkward. So keep that in mind. But you're going to see here once I grind all this stuff up that you know I'm left with a lot of pulp and just like that amount of juice. So everything that you see here is going to really be condensed. So I'm going to go through this here and um, I'll probably fast forward it just so that we can get to the end. But so that you have a better idea of, uh, of what it looks like towards the end. So there's the juicer. Not very loud, right? Um, let me go through here. So I usually will start, I'll keep getting rid of my knife here. I usually start with the lemon just because uh, for some reason in my mind, I think it like kind of loops up the, the gears. I don't know. You, could, you don't have to start that way, but it's just, I'm a purist. All right. So the one part here I didn't show you is, is this guy here. 
so this is basically so that you don't you know lose a finger or a hand when you're because those are those are steel uh, gears down there so uh, this will just give you a way to be able to push it through but I'm sure you can probably see this here so you know you just push this stuff through and already we're getting some, some good stuff here so So I'm expelling and getting, getting rid of all the pulp. I don't, you know, I'm not really as interested in that as I am the juice. And I'm also, you know, expelling all the good stuff out of the, out of the skin as well. There's different degrees of tightness that you can do, you know, for like the little juicier vegetables and, and fruits. You can kind of loosen the gear up a little bit. Um, so that way it's not squeezing it so tight because it, it will get clogged up in there. But um, for the, for the ones that like a carrot or the ginger, you know, they're a little bit more root. You got to be tighter on it because it's got to squeeze them uh, a little bit more. It makes sense, I guess. So then I'll usually go on to the parsley here. And uh, this stuff grinds up pretty easy. And you'll notice too that my uh, canister down here, there's a little screen. So like, it gets rid of the, the pulp in this basket here. And then there's a little uh, spot, a little opening here before, then right after it's gone through a couple screens where uh, it's really filtered. So you really don't have to deal with any pulp or foam really at all, which is nice. Um, let's see here, then I'll move on to maybe the celery. The celery juice on its own it's really good for like cholesterol it's like really good for your health i know that there's a, a lot of different studies that have been done on it and um i've never just done it on its own but i know that there's probably a lot of people that have kale you can see that you know I'm more than halfway through my tray here and and see how much that's cut down on my um, on my juice container here or how, how the amount of juice that that's producing okay now I'm gonna do the uh, cucumber here. So I will usually cut out the seeds because that tends to jam up my my gears. You just have to a little bit here, just the like the the really gushy crap. I'm sure there's probably some stuff in there that's good, but I'm just interested really in the skin and the and the stuff. So and I'll break this in half, send this through. You hear that? It's just really grinding. I love that. With those other ones, you know, they're good, but you just, you know, you throw a whole apple in there and it's already done. It's like, well, maybe there's still some left in there to, to expel from the, from the fruit itself. So it's really high velocity and I just don't think that you're maximizing the potential. There's a lot of studies that have been done on the, on the quality of the juice that came out of both uh, a twin gear and a, uh, and a like a high velocity one. So next will be this is the uh, carrot though the one carrot I usually do two but I'm this is the only one I have today. You go a little bit slower on these and again I have it all the way tightened so really squeeze it on here but just take your time. You don't want to jam or plug up the uh, the gears. It'll grind it up. Scent. A lot of stuff through there once and it always does it so uh, next I'll do the apple this is really the only fruit that you know, other than the uh, the lemon most people think that the lemon is gonna be uh, acidic well we cook with it because it's an acidic or it's an acid that we cook with it uh, in your body it actually digests this and limes it actually digests as a very alkaline source so that's why you see a lot of people have you know, uh, lemon in their water. Um, it's not. It, it's not an acidic source in your body. It's actually uh, a, a very alkaline source. Right? 
kind of threw me off at first, but it is true. Uh, and it really makes a big difference with these uh, with these drinks. You can get them cheap. I usually buy them in bulk, just in a big bag for a couple bucks. They last me a couple weeks. So then the last thing I have here is spinach. Uh, this is a little bit harder to get through just because it's uh, pretty leafy, but I thought when I was driving home from the gym today, got the green shirt on, I figured today is the day to do a video in the kitchen. Never done one in here before, so thought I'd mix it up for you fellas today. All right, and that's it. So you can see here that I'm now, I'm out. Like it's all, I'm done. And what I'm left with now is here's all, that was, that, that was what was on the cutting board. I mean, there's not, there's really nothing there. There's probably a lot of really good stuff for soil. If you're planting flowers, I'm, I'm not into that business, but, uh, so then the juice, here's the foam that, uh, it, I mean, it does produce, it, let's not uh, ignore the fact that we've just pulverized a lot here, but it, it does produce a little bit of foam, a little bit, but again, a screen has, has separated that. So this is the final product, right? So I'm gonna grab a spoon here. And what I'll usually do is I'll just stir this up and look at how it matches, like it's more green and more vibrant than my shirt, really. And it's, you know, what, 12, 16 ounces, this guy? But this is the most delicious, most nutri nutritional filled um, source and drink that I have. I absolutely love this. Uh, very alkaline source, you're gonna feel it right away. It's, it's really delicious. I can tell so many different benefits. You can really taste that uh, that ginger uh, and the lemon. I don't even taste the, you know, the spinach or the kale and carrot and all that other stuff. I mean, those are good, but I've kind of disguised them with the the high amount of, of lemon and um, ginger in there. So very delicious. This is awesome. I highly recommend this. Again, I'll link this in the in the comments section below. Um, I highly recommend this for for anybody that. Uh, is looking to you know increase or boost their health, their immunity, uh, just generally have more energy, feel better, uh, and get more out of their day, maximize their potential. It's really helped in the last five years. I think I've really you know really embraced this, or last five years, excuse me, last three years I, I would say. And you know these are a couple hundred bucks, but I can tell you this is this is the only one I've ever had, and it works really well. Uh, they clean up really easily. The parts are great, so uh, highly recommend it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Please add your comments. Uh, let me know if this is something that you guys have tried or are interested in learning a little bit more about. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments. So please like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good contributor here or would value from our content at the Man Corps. Thanks for being with me, fellas. I got to run off to work, but uh, it's been great chatting with you. Have a excellent weekend. Cheers.